Hey guys, welcome to New Reacting to my thoughts on reality shifting by the odd ones out. Now, I have not seen this, but I do kind of know what he's talking about, also based on the thumbnail. He's basically talking about fictional stories, I guess, that have to do with, you know, altering reality, like, you know, I, in the thumbnail I saw Bill Cipher, so that, that makes sense, you know, because he has the ability to alter reality. Now, I could understand maybe he doesn't like it, based on the thumbnail, but personally, uh, I kinda like it, I think it can be cool. Sometimes it's definitely overdone, it's definitely overdone, yeah, it's definitely overdone, but sometimes I think, you know, if it's well written, then it's good. If it's just, you know, reality shifting because, oh, look at this, we're doing something cool, then it's not good. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, reaching to the description, make sure to the album, so let's just get right into it. I understand that there are things that I don't understand. For example, theoretical physics, or how to make friends. But I do know that the world Aha, is funny, not flat, loneliness, that relatable. work, and listening to people tell Balto. me otherwise is admittedly a guilty pleasure of mine. Whether it's conspiracy theories or horoscopes, I love watching people pour their heart into something they genuinely believe in, only for me to go, I disagree. But please, continue. There are some beliefs that I don't agree with, but oh. are absolutely fine to believe in. Oh, like so like superstitions? But I think we can all agree that some beliefs can be incredibly damaging to a person, or even humanity as a whole, like the anti-vaxxers, or racists. So I discovered a new trend, yeah. and I'm not sure if it's just kids being kids, or a mentally damaging belief system, but I'm still gonna talk about it and explain to my audience the importance of critical thinking, and to notice the red flags and dangerous beliefs. So what am I talking oh, about? Oh, okay. I fortunately fell down a rabbit hole and discovered- Kinda controversial there, a little bit. kids on a phone application called TikTok doing something called reality shifting. This, by the way, is not a small community of oh. people. There are amino groups with thousands of members, videos with hundreds of That was a, a lot of references there to other Storytime acronyms. Animation channels. O-M-G. Reality shifting stems from the belief in parallel universes, which I gotta be honest, I'm not completely sold on that idea to begin with. Okay. You say that Schrodinger's cat is both alive and dead, but cats have nine lives, so are 4.5 cats dead? How is a cat half dead? Either way, someone supposedly very smart has said that every decision you've ever made has caused the universe to copy itself and create a new reality where you made the different decision. I had cereal for breakfast this morning, but somewhere there's a reality where I ate my hamster for breakfast. Oh! So I create a new oh! It's the idea. So is this like the Mandela effect? So yeah, I think this he might be talking about the Mandela effect because that's a thing. Where people believe that you can't go back to your childhoods because sometime you went into a different reality. And, yeah, personally I do believe that there are alternate realities and that there are alternate timelines, but I don't believe people can go to them. That, that isn't possible, you know? But, yeah, I, that's, that's mainly my belief, but yeah, at the same time, like, there can be, like, alternate realities. Uh, depending on people's choices. That's my belief. So I, it's fine that if he disagrees, that's fine. I mean, I don't really care. The universe every time I scratch my butt and somewhere there's a James with better manners. So times that by 8 billion people making decisions every day. Plus Is that 8 bit Ryan? By like dogs and jellyfish, right? Those count, I think. And we get roughly infinity total realities. Oh, like Doctor Strange. The reality shifting community says that since there are infinite realities, then there's a reality where GameStop stock is incredibly low, or that COVID didn't happen. Or perhaps there's even a reality out there where Hogwarts is real and a messenger owl just dropped off your acceptance letter. And through the right meditation, you can transfer your consciousness from your current reality, your CR for short, to your Hogwarts desired reality, your DR. Oh, well, that's stupid. Gosh darn reason, Hogwarts is the number one shiftable destination location. In my opinion. But obviously, it's not just Hogwarts. Any fictional universe is fair game. You Burns. could go to the Hunger Games or Lord of the Rings. I'm not sure why, though. A lot of bad things happen there. And since all logic is thrown out the window, Cartoon and anime realities are shiftable destinations because if Schrodinger's cat taught us anything It's that there are some universes that are just 24 drawings a second 
So because yeah, what? allegedly infinite realities, people will write down what they want their desired reality to be, and this is called a script. It's funny, you know, normally scripts... Yeah, wait, that's a script. Stories, He's right. But these people think that what they write down will be 100% real. And you can make a script of whatever you want. You can say, I want to shift to Hogwarts and be in a relationship with Draco Malfoy. I, I mean, not, not me. This is just an example. <laughs> now listen, you're a smart kid, okay? Hopefully, I don't have to explain to you that that's not how life works. If you believe you can hop into different realities, then that's great, and I see no problem with it. Is what I would say in a different reality, but in this reality, I have a lot of questions. If you can shift your consciousness into a different version of you, what happens to the alternate reality you's consciousness? You're just taking over someone else's body. This other you had a life and a family, unless you're going to a YA fantasy novel, and you just took over their whole yeah, body. Yeah, what? What if there's a you in an alternate reality that's like, I want to live in a reality where there's a pandemic and I'm sadder, and then they shifted here. What happens to your consciousness? You don't trade. The reality shifting community says that when you shift, you leave behind a clone of yourself. Obviously. What? When you shift, there's someone's consciousness unaccounted for. What about the realities where one of you had waffles for breakfast and the other had pancakes? Both of these yous are pretty much the exact same. So then both of you will want to reality shift to the exact same Harry Potter reality. Do you have to share a body with the other yous that have shifted to the same reality? Are you telling me that Voldemort and any fictional villain is real? How come half of us didn't get turned to dust when Thanos snapped? If anyone can reality shift, are you telling me that actually is a really good point? That's a really good point. Yeah. If if the belief that you can shift to like fictional realities is real, then why didn't the snap then why didn't the snap affect this reality? You know? Like it's stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> but I mean Yeah, no no offense to anybody who actually believes it. That Voldemort could download TikTok and reality shift here? If you go to Hogwarts, you're leading Voldemort right to us. How can there be a reality where magic is real? Sure, I don't know how parallel universes work, but they're parallel. So the laws of physics should still be the same, right? But James, I know that reality shifting makes no sense and is impossible, but then why do so many people claim to have shifted? Because they're dreaming. Shifting happens when you fall asleep, and if you fill your subconscious with things from your desired reality, would you be surprised that you had a dream about Hogwarts? Something about this trend doesn't sit right with me. A lot of the reality shifting TikToks were done by kids, and kids, as you know, can get really obsessed in the fandom and do some cringy stuff. If these kids were making True. fan fiction and writing themselves on a date with Bakugo, that would be totally fine. Healthy, even. Heck, even if these kids Healthy? said, I love I mean, Harry Potter so much that I want to manipulate my dreams to be about him. That would be fine, too. But something about actually believing that you're astral projecting into a fictional universe. I don't know. That level of obsession just feels unhealthy, my guy. And also, back off Bakugo. He's mine. The problem with reality shifting and actually conspiracy theories as physics. a whole is that they pretend to be based on factual evidence when they're entirely a pseudoscience. You start off with a scientific idea, multiple realities, and then you make up whatever you want and use what the scientists have said about multiple realities as proof. Even yeah. Though no scientist True. has said anything about being able to move your Bill consciousness Nye, outside Frizzle? of your body, or that you leave a clone of yourself behind when you reality shift, or that cartoon universes exist. I've seen people in videos yeah. say that they've done research on reality shifting, but I feel confident in saying you didn't get a degree in quantum physics. I want you to cite your sources and show me the studies because research isn't just believing what other people said on TikTok. These TikToks get impressionable kids to believe in reality shifting in pretty manipulative ways, saying that if you didn't shift, it's because you didn't believe hard enough. When you get these doubts and say, oh, I can't shift, I don't even know if it's real anymore at this point, try and ask yourself after, but what if it's real? What if I can shift? You want to find out, do you? I get it. Harry Potter is a cool world. That's why they made a whole theme park about it. Who wouldn't want to drop out of a muggle public school and live in a castle with a bunch of soft British boys? And also magic or whatever. <laughs> but you need to be mindful about where you're getting your information. 
I've watched hours of flat earthers and anti-vaxxers talk about their beliefs, and these people get their information from non-credible sources, and they end up pushing more fake information online, and it creates this echo chamber that warps their worldview. I don't want kids watching these TikToks or going on Amino and essentially get lied to and think this is how the world works. I'm hoping that all of these people will look back at themselves in 10 years and go, Yeesh, I can't believe I was so obsessed about a thing. I literally tried to astral project myself across the multiverse. <laughs> right, Bakugo? I know that this reality what? can suck sometimes, and right now it's looking pretty bad. But like it or not, this is the one reality we get. A lot of things may be out of your control, but according to theoretical physics, we make a lot of choices, and all our choices lead us down different paths. So what you need to do is not give up on this reality for a literal fictitious one, but instead to make choices that will make this current reality your desired reality. Thank you all for coming to my That's a good message, I will say. To be fair though, honestly my opinion on TikTok is that it's, it's literally an app where people just go on it and say shit just to get likes and follows. Because in reality, none of the people on that app are actually credible because a lot of the times they're just doing it for clout. So it's not, it's not a good app, honestly. Like, it's not really. And I'm not saying YouTube is either. But I feel like there's a lot more, you know, credible people on YouTube than TikTok will ever have. You know? In my opinion. I mean, I feel like the internet is definitely a place where, you know, you know, a lot of people definitely get their information from, especially YouTube. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying is TikTok is definitely not a great place to get information. And I feel like a lot of kids do. And, yeah, honestly, it kind of annoys me that TikTok, TikTok is, like, one of those apps where it's like, oh, it's made for kids. You have, like, adults saying, like, random dumb shit on it. You, just, yeah, just to, like sway the impressionable kids and it's honestly just annoying it is really annoying but um yeah anyways guys hope you enjoyed the videos from my channel see you next one bye